Holliman is now among a group of people suing Wendy's restaurant after that E. coli outbreak last month. There are now 97 confirmed victims. About half of them were sent to the hospital. News 8's Whitney Burney spoke to the one man who says he's still not 100% weeks later. Shane Meyer says he's a regular at Wendy's restaurants. I used to come here every couple of days, get lunch. But after buying a burger here at the Canal in Rivertown Parkway location in Granville last month, he was left with a bad taste in his mouth. I started being really sick. I got very bad internal cramps, uh, you know, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Uh, symptoms like that. I didn't know what was going on. The doctors didn't know what was going on at first either until they got a uh, diuretic test back and they found out it was the Shiga toxin. He claims the lettuce on his burger contained E. coli. He's now suing the fast food franchise for negligence. As you know, right now there is an E. coli outbreak currently in six different states uh, in the Northeast. And in those states, we have 97 confirmed victims, almost half of which have been hospitalized. Attorney Ron Simon says some cases were so bad, customers develop hemolytic uremic syndrome, an illness that can cause kidney failure, require a kidney transplant, or result in death. Simon says the restaurant had a responsibility to the customers and failed. Whenever you go to a restaurant, you are entrusting that restaurant with the idea that they have made your food safe for you to eat. Because most of the pathogens you find in, in food, including E. coli, you can't see, smell, or taste. So when you order a meal, you are trusting that Wendy's, in this case, has done everything they needed to do to make sure that the food they put on your plate was safe. We reached out to Meritage Hospitality Group, the company that owns the Granville Wendy's location. They said they could not comment on pending litigation. I just want people to make sure that they know their food's coming from a good place, you know? I, I, I go there a lot, or I used to at least, and I was expecting there to be uh, a higher quality cleanliness situation. The attorneys in this case tell us that the victims are suing for lost wages and medical bills, among other compensation. Reporting here in Granville, Whitney Burney, News 8.